there are few things you have to know as a blockchain developer so whether you want to go into the core blockchain development or you want to become a full stack dev development you have to clear your basic terminology so when you will sit for the interview it will help you to answer all of these questions so recently i asked one of our group members in our community and i was taking a kind of interview because he was preparing for a job so in that i asked him a very basic question about the block structure and he failed to answer so that's what i'm going to cover right now in this video and as i have already discussed in the previous blockchain roadmap that what are the topics we're going to cover how we're going to understand every single thing which are there in DeFi, whether you talk about the totally DeFi sector or you talk about the dev development so we're going to have the complete basic to advanced level every single topic i will cover in that course so let's try to understand the structure of a single block that what data it contain and why it make that particular block a special block which be a part of the blockchain whenever you make any transaction whether it's a buying nft buying token transferring any fund you can see that here we have the structure of a single block and we have all of this data into this particular block which will be mint on the blockchain whenever you take the transaction so we have the header we have the previous block address and hash we have the timestamp we have the nuance and we have the market tree but the thing i want to focus here is this particular one previous block hash and address at a particular time only one transaction can be mint on the blockchains so if I'm doing a transaction, if I'm sending any fund, buying NFT, buying token, I'm minting a block on the blockchain and that particular block contain all of this information. But the best part is that it keeping the information about the previous block. I have to understand because these kind of things will be asked in the interview when you will work on the blockchain architecture or when you will start joining as an internships. They're going to ask you this. They want to test your basic level of understanding that whether you can identify that what blockchain is, how it's function, what kind of technology, what information is included in a single block. So you have to clear all of this basic terminology. The entire motive of making this video, what are the basic terminology we have in the blockchain? Okay, so if I come back to the next slide, you will find the same thing I have referenced here that this is the information you will find in the first block, second block and third block. And all of this block will contain the information of one another. So if you talk about the second block, it will contain the information about the first block. If you talk about the block number three, it will contain the information of block two. So if someone try to manipulate the data in the block one, it's not going to match with the block two. So in that way, what will happen? The entire transaction will fail and the they can identify, okay, someone have done something wrong in the previous block and the entire transaction will cancel. So that's how the entire structure of a single block look like and what data we have into this. Again, every single thing I'm going to cover extensively in this DeFi course, where we will talk about the entire terminology. I'm going to give you all the notes which I have built over the years with all the PDFs so you guys can take yourself and follow through the entire course. And that will give you a basic idea and it will clear all your doubt both in terms of core blockchain development, dApp development and what are the things you have to know. Back here, we have a lot of projects on our channel. So come back to the playlist, you will find that we have built so many projects. So I want you to build project. I want you to build this NFT marketplace, this Uniswap. These two projects will help you a lot in understanding your transaction process, both in terms of DeFi and NFT. Here we have the NFT marketplace, here we have the Uniswap. You will understand everything. So I just want you to come and have a look on all the projects we have built. And very soon I'm going to have more projects like this. This is the project. We're going to have this one. And I want you to focus on this particular blockchain roadmap. In